What is Paldean Quagsire gonna look like? Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, the place where I, a wild animal biologist and Pokemon trainer, often combine my two passions into one. Today, we're gonna explore the real life biology of Paldean Blooper to see if it gives us any clues of what Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet may introduce us to with a Paldean Quagsire. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. First, what do we know about Paldean Wooper? You know, Paldean Wooper is actually classified as a poisonous fish Pokemon, and as such, has a poison ground typing. It is said that in ancient times, Paldean Wooper lived underwater, but after losing a struggle for its territory, they began to live in bogs on land. And to keep from drying out while on land, they began to cover their bodies with a poisonous film. Now you may have noticed Paldean Wooper's gills look a little different than what we're used to. And apparently their gills have hardened because they've lived on land for so long. And that's not all their gills can do. They can shoot poisonous liquid from their gills. And the Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet website actually updated with this really cool tidbit that while exploring, you may see poison Pokemon in areas in which Paldean Wooper lives. And that's one of the things that I loved about the new Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Legends game was being immersed in the world of Pokemon and seeing Pokemon interact with each other. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what other aspects of this they bring in to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Now there are three key clues that stand out from that information that give me some idea of where Pokemon may go with Paldean Quagsire. Firstly is the water to land aspect. Introducing Abastamomidae, a family of mostly large salamanders found throughout North America. Now, while they may look like lizards, they're actually amphibians. And while as adults, they occur in a variety of different habitats, they do require an aquatic habitat for their larval stage. These salamanders are famous for a few things, one of which is the migration of large numbers of adults to mating ponds. And this is because adults typically live in burrows underground and return to the water to breed. Now note I said return to the water. Like Paldean Wooper originated in the water, so do these guys. And in fact, not all of these salamanders go under evolution to become a quagsire or an adult salamander. Some species, like the pretty snazzy axolotl, retain their juvenile morphology as adults. Enter your cool word for the day here, pedomorphic. Therefore, pedomorphic salamanders that retain their juvenile morphology need to stay in the water. But the cool thing is, is if you introduce iodine, but the cool thing is, is that they can actually be induced to metamorphize by the addition of iodine in their habitat, which made me think of Paldean Wooper's poisonous film protection and how they shoot poisonous liquid from their gills. Could this poison be in fact iodine? The same poison in our real life world that makes our real life Pokemon evolve? Well, metamorphize. So using our real life Pokemon of our world, let's explore three different ways that Paldean Quagsire could look based on the real life Pokemon moves and abilities of these amazing salamanders. Firstly, take a look at this pretty snazzy <laughs> artistic licensed drawing of a tiger salamander influence upon Paldean Quagsire. Oh yeah. I went all out with the budget on this one, guys. Tiger salamanders are big, and we see with Wooper, it does get quite a substantially bit bigger when it becomes a quagsire. And like how when Wooper evolves into quagsire, the gills are gone, the same is true here. Larval salamanders use their gills to breathe in the water, but as adults, they lose their gills for their living on land. Now, what about that poison I hear you ask? Well, never fear, the tiger salamander does in fact have a poisonous substance that they secrete that tastes bad to predators. Now the second option for Paldean Quagsire to evolve into is based off the Northwestern Salamander. Now I suggest this one because it reminds me of the struggle for territory that we see with Paldean Wooper, because these guys have a battle with trout, who happen to be predators of the little larval salamanders. The Northwestern Salamander typically deposits its eggs in a habitat free of predatory fish like trout. 
and all of the adult salamanders leave the pond after the breeding season to leave the eggs in the water until they hatch. Now, if the adult salamanders did in fact lay their eggs in a predator-free environment, the little hatchlings have relatively smooth sailing. They are diurnal and they forage on insect larvae during the day. However, if their parents say laid their eggs where there were potential predators, well then they become creatures of the night and are nocturnal in nature and live in vegetated areas for protection. And I know probably the coolest bit that you're all wondering about the poison aspect holds true for the Northwestern salamander type influenced Paldean quagsire. Because as adults, they will secrete a milky substance that, yes, is poisonous from glands on the back of their head and their tail. Now, if they're really cheesed off, they will smear the poison on the attacker with their tail, which makes me think maybe this version might have a white stripe on the back of their tail to pay homage to this milky poisonous substance. Now, for the last real life Pokemon that I think may influence Paldean Quagsire is a salamander, but from a different family. Meet the European fire salamander. While they don't metamorphize like the other two, they do actually give birth to live baby little salamanders. Aren't they cute? Now the reason I went for the European fire salamander is in fact because of the poison. It is so cool. They can spray poisonous liquid from glands behind their eyes. <laughs> really does remind me of Paldean Whooper, that is for sure. Now skin is really important to these guys. Well, and really all amphibians actually, which is why I think Paldean Whooper is actually a poison amphibian Pokemon, not poison fish. But anyways, the European European fire salamander, their skin has glands that release toxins that can kill or sicken an animal that tries to eat it, which is very similar to the poisonous film protection that Paldean Blooper has. Now, which of the three do you think is going to be most like Paldean Quagsire? Let me know down in the comments below. To keep your adventure going, why not check out this video over here on the axolotl and how it's like the real life Shazam or Captain Marvel. Go on, click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in that video.